Hi everybody and welcome back in my uh, modeling channel. So today we're going to analyze, open the kit of an A4 Skyhawk on a scale 172 from Fujimi. So the box is a little bit old. I purchased it uh, back in the 90s, uh, when, back in the 90s when I was a teenager. So uh, let's open the box and see what do we have inside. So initially, as you can see, the instruction sheet is a little bit uh, yellowish, but uh, that's normal when we see that uh, the kit is uh, quite old. So um, very straightforward, as you can see. Uh, first part is uh, about how to build the kit. And then uh, you'll have uh, two different uh, or maybe three different options uh, to build uh, for, the, for the decals. So let's open now uh, the kit itself. So as you can see I have a few bags. The good thing is uh, at least it seems the decal haven't altered by the time. So we have a decal sheet which has been uh, quietly uh, well preserved. It's still under another uh, layer of uh, protection. But we won't need it. So we have the options of uh, the US Navy or uh, the Argentinian Navy. We'll see that a little bit later. So uh, now we have a, a sprue where we have basically uh, divided in two parts, but it's covering mainly the fuselage of uh, that uh, Skyhawk. Uh, as you can see, uh, the tail is in two parts, and uh, so is the front uh, with the fuselage, where we have uh, the horizontal stabilizer, the nose landing gear, uh, I would guess those are pedostatics, or maybe wing fairing. But uh, it seems to be uh, very well detailed, as you can see uh, all the the gaps and the panel lines are uh, very in very fine engravement, which is a pretty good sign. Then uh, the second sprue will have uh, basically all the attachments for the weapon system. We have the wheels. Uh, I imagine this is the air intake with uh, the single engine uh, fan. And we have uh, some gear doors and a wheel way for the, the load landing gear, the main land, the nose landing gear. And we have also some speed brakes, which seem pretty well uh, detailed. Now, uh, that sprue contain uh, two missiles. There is two different type of um, perch for the uh, en route uh, refueling or air refueling. And those seems to be uh, some uh, fuel, uh, extra fuel tank as well. We have the cockpit here uh, with some uh, details and basically it's we have the seat basically and the, and the cockpit uh, and the side uh, panels and that last screw basically will cover the, the wing of uh, that Skyhawk so the wings are separated basically in uh, three parts so you got uh, the lower wing here, the upper wing and as you can see they have some protection on here, as uh, we will have what we call the uh, slats well located here on the, that aircraft. So it seems to be a pretty well uh, nice uh, kit. And we have the options of having the canopy open or closed. And uh, I will open the last one. The last but not least bag, so you have the options of having uh, the canopy open or the canopy could be closed. You have uh, both options basically are available on the kit and of course uh, the landing light. So uh, a very nice uh, little kit, lots of works to do but lots of details as well. And uh, let's start talking, building and see how it come uh, after that. So we're going to start uh, that build by uh, preparing the parts for the uh, aft part of the fuselage. And uh, for this, there will be a little bit of preparation, of course, and then uh, we're gonna add them uh, together. So what we will do, we will also prepare uh, the fan and the uh, air intake. It will be located just at the front part of the aft part. And uh, then we will add as well uh, the uh, exhaust and then glue all the fuselage together. So 
but now uh, that our uh, half fuselage is drying, we're going to start preparing our wings. So the wings are composed in uh, three parts. So there is uh, the under part, which is the main part, and the main body, and we're going to glue them all together. What I really like uh, on that kit is uh, you had the options of uh, deploying the slats to achieve uh, a nicer little effect uh, on the model itself. So while uh, the putty is drying now on the aft part, we're going to have the opportunity to uh, give a little bit more attention to our cockpit. So initially, uh, I will paint that cockpit with a dark uh, grey colour and uh, I will apply that uh, paint basically uh, inside the wall and of course on the, the side panel and the ejection seat. After that, uh, we will start uh, preparing uh, our cockpit. So for this we will start painting the ejection seat in the matte black and uh, we'll use uh, the uh, inner part or the cushion seats. Uh, we will use another color and that will be a mix of uh, yellow green and uh, some uh, lighter yellow. I will have uh, to cut basically the decal at a proper size and I will reshape them and then I will be able to use uh, after that I will put some softener as well on the decals to be able to uh, really get on the shape of uh, those instrument panels. Uh, I'll have to do uh, a little bit of uh, extra work and uh, I will also have to do that on the, the cockpit and the instrument panel and uh, you can see that uh, now. So initially what I will do I will put some softener on the cockpit panel then try to apply the decal and it was uh, as you can see a little bit more challenging and then I had again a little bit more uh, solution decal solution on top of that then I had uh, the perfect shape after that uh, I paint the ejection uh, handle uh, in a yellow color add some more colors on those uh, instruments and switch and then glue the instrument panel to the cockpit after that I put it all together and uh, I will use also some lead wire to replicate the seat belt uh, on that seat. So now that uh, our uh, paint has dried, we will uh, do all the lines uh, on that uh, ejection uh, seat grip uh, using some uh, matte black paint, of course. After that, uh, I will use also uh, some uh, panel lines uh, and some solution to be able to uh, give some more uh, weathering effect inside that cockpit. So uh, shortly after this, as you can see, we will do that on the whole side. We will glue the cockpit uh, inside that front part of the fuselage and then I will use some uh, modeling paste or play-doh uh, to give some weight in front uh, of the aircraft and then it will avoid the air that will prevent the airplane to sit on its tail so as you can see I used a lot of that uh, play-doh as uh, the model is pretty short I needed some heavy weight after that I used some uh, Tamiya putty to uh, fill up uh, all the gaps uh, that I had between those uh, on those fuselage of course after that uh, putty has dried, it's time for uh, the long part of uh, sending down all these, uh, all these uh, panel lines and rescribing all the panel lines after that. Using, uh, normally I use a razor saw and then after I use a rescribing tool. going to uh, sand down all uh, the extra putty on our front part of the fuselage and uh, as you can see it's, uh, it's pretty easy. After that I will use again the razor saw blade to uh, rescribe all the panel and then the rescribing tool itself. 
and uh, normally further after that we're going to be able to glue uh, both parts of the fuselage together and again once uh, everything will be dried we'll add some more uh, putty and uh, then we'll be uh, able to uh, remove all the uh, excess um, fill all the gaps and uh, the excess on the panel mites So now we're gonna add some more details. So there was basically uh, a base um, on the tail that needed to be uh, done. And I had some issue as well with uh, the uh, air brakes located on the back. I had to reopen them and re-glue them. Of course, now what we're going to do again, we're gonna do some uh, putty on the air intake and uh, to fill up uh, all the gaps. Of course, we're gonna have to uh, let this dry and again, uh, sanding down. Uh, Now time to get uh, closer to the final assembly. So we're gonna finally uh, glue our wings uh, to our uh, fuselage. Of course, there was some uh, little bit of adjustment over the end and uh, I will use some uh, clamp basically to uh, really get uh, those wings close to that fuselage and avoid any gap. After that, uh, we will uh, glue on the, the fuselage itself the horizontal stabilizer. And of course, uh, we're gonna have to add a little bit of a putty to fill the gaps between the wings and the fuselage and also uh, on the uh, horizontal stabilizer and uh, the fuselage itself. So it's time now to do some uh, masking uh, on our uh, cockpit uh, window as I would like to uh, avoid to have any uh, paint mark uh, all over. So uh, for this I use uh, the very light structure of, uh, of um, the cockpit and then I use some uh, adhesive tape from Tamiya and I cut it uh, at the proper uh, dimension to get uh, all that. There are some uh, cockpit uh, masks uh, on the market but they are also quite expensive uh, so I'd rather spend the extra time by myself doing this uh, and to have the proper shape, uh, the desired shape for uh, that painting mask. Time to go to the paint booth. So I will uh, initially uh, paint, um, I use some uh, gray color to paint our uh, cockpit and then uh, I will be able to uh, proceed uh, normally uh, among the rest of uh, the airplane. So after that, I will use uh, some uh, red uh, color and uh, I will uh, paint this mainly on the, the, uh, the uh, inside part of the, of the leading edge and that will be able to, uh, to keep the color of the, of the slats. So uh, after that, we're gonna do uh, the slats themselves and of course the uh, air intake. So after that, we're gonna have to put some uh, mask on the air intake and uh, the inner part of the slats to be able to uh, do some uh, masking. And then we're gonna continue on uh, our uh, paint.
we finish uh, all that paint job, we're going to remove uh, all the masking tape and then uh, it's going to be time to start our uh, decaling process. So uh, for this I just use a regular uh, water solution, uh, dip my decals of course, let it soak and then uh, I add them uh, directly on the, on the aircraft. I have to say that those uh, decals were quite easy to use, very easy to handle and they were very smooth so uh, that was uh, an easy fit. So now it's going to be time for weathering and for this I normally use a solution with a black pastel that I really put in very fine grain mixed with a drop of hand soap and some water. So for that I will put them on the panel lines and let them dry. During this I was working on the fuel tanks. After that I use a soaked or humid cotton cloth and then I will remove uh, all the excess uh, wash that I put uh, on those panel lines. And uh, it takes a little bit of time, but the finish is uh, normally very nice. It's now time to fill uh, to fit the undercarriage on the aircraft so we're gonna glue the wheels basically to the strut and then add them uh, on the lower part of the fuselage after that uh, we will uh, finish uh, the last uh, parts put the gear doors and also uh, the slats uh, on the aircraft and uh, there will be also some uh, final touch up So this is the end result of that uh, Skyhawk on a scale 172 made by uh, Fujimi. I hope you enjoyed that build with me. If you did so, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up and uh, I will see you soon in uh, another build video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next build!